All right, welcome to growth and development. Let's look at the difference between economic growth, economic growth, and economic development. Economic growth is the increase in the productive capacity. So more goods and services are produced, and then the economy grows. And economic development, on the other hand, has to do with people, how the people live, the standard of living. Now, the economic growth is measured by real GDP, and we know that to get real GDP, we take GDP and we minus inflation, whereas economic development is measured by real GDP per capita. Per capita means per person. So if we wanted to measure economic development, we would take the real GDP and we would divide it by the uh, population in the country. So we can see what the real GDP is per person. All right. Uh, if we want to grow the economy, we need to use the demand side policies and the supply side policies. Now, the demand side policies is the expansionary monetary policy and the expansionary fiscal policy. So if we use the expansionary monetary or expansionary uh, fiscal policy, then we can grow the economy. I'm not going to get into uh, these policies in this video. Please go see uh, the business cycles part two video where I explain the uh, these policies in detail, but we need uh, demand side policy has to do with expansionary monetary policy or an expansionary fiscal policy, whereas supply side policy has to do with efficiency, uh, efficiency of markets. Markets must become more efficient in order to grow the economy. Efficiency of businesses, businesses must become more efficient to grow the economy and reduction of cost. Right, we need to. Uh, reduced cost because when we reduce cost we're reducing waste those are the supply side remember supply side has to do with the efficiency market efficiency of business and reducing cost in order to grow the economy all right uh, the north and south divide what is the north and south divide we know the north refers to the developed countries and the south refers to the developing countries so the north and south divide refers to the developmental gap between the developed countries, which is the north, and the developing countries, which is the south. That's what a development gap is, or the north and south divide is. Now, let's look at the programs that were introduced to address issues uh, in South Africa. The first one uh, that the ANC introduced uh, was the RDP, the Reconstruction Development Program. Uh, this policy was in, uh, implemented in 1994. It was the first one to address inequality. Uh, and the next one was the National Development Plan introduced in 2012. This one was introduced to eliminate poverty and inequality by the year 2030. So the, it will uh, end by 2030, uh, the National Development Plan. The Extended Public Works Program, as you could uh, you see the word works there, suggests um, extended public works program has to do with work, creating jobs. Uh, it's adopt it was adopted as a development strategy in 2004 with the main objective was to create employment and thus reduce poverty. Okay, the fourth one is the small business support program, uh, which gives a cash incentive to small businesses. We also have the skills support program. Um, which provides cash incentive for training uh, of South African labor force. Okay, there's also the employment equity uh, as a policy. Employment equity means we bring disadvantaged groups to an equal level in terms of hiring and promotion. So they can be hired, but they can also get promotion. That's called employment equity. Uh, land restitution. You, uh, has to do with returning lost land that was lost due to discriminatory laws of the past. So that land must be restitution, must be returned to its rightful owners. That's called land restitution. All right, so I just want to go back to the development programs. Uh, they, they like to ask uh, questions on the development programs. Do you think they worked or do you think they did not work? whether it's the RDP or the NDP, did they work? So, I mean, when you answer this question, there's no right or wrong answer. Some learners might say, yes, the programs like the RDP and the NDP worked. Some uh, And they might cite that pe some people with RDP houses 
more people have water and electricity now than before 1994 if you're looking at the rtp and say it worked uh, because there are um, child grants so to help people so that they don't they don't live in poverty so you can cite many reasons why you think the programs work but you could also if you want argue that they did not work because the evidence is also there you could cite that uh, there's still a lot of people living in poverty, living below the poverty line. There's still a high levels of inequality in the country. There's still a lot of people who are unemployed. So when they ask you whether you think the development programs worked or not, it's up to you to answer, but you must just substantiate your answer. There's no right or wrong answer. All right. Thank you. Uh, great talks.